Hello, people! My name is Rage, and welcome to all to a Rage Perspective on Lowdown. Now, this is a very interesting A, because the game itself is a very interesting, and B, because I actually did a video on this game over a year ago when it was still in very early closed beta. So, as this game has just been released on Steam, it is free to play. I thought, what better time to jump back into the game, see what's changed, and let you guys know what you're in for if you should choose to play this, quite frankly, hilarious, fun, well polished game. So let's get this hype train started. Choo choo, motherfucker. So what is Loadout? It is effectively a really, really good, fun, cartoony, but there's also like blood and gore and it's got, it oozes like this just charm and it's really, really cool shooter. But there is a few like significant hooks that are the major mechanics of the game and that would be the weapon crafting. Although before I move on, I just have to point out, right, just from hearing the music that's playing right now, they're like, D -d 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 -d, you know, you can tell what kind of game you're in for, as well as Mr. Action Hero Man here, who is the default character that you play as before you can customize your outfits and stuff, because there is a shop, but I'll get to that later. Look at him. I mean, listen to the music and look at this guy, and you know what you're getting into in this game. It's a superb menu. I really, really do like it. Although I do have to say, he looks like he's there like, oh god, oh god, what is that? That is, what am I looking at? That's disgusting. Like, he's just walked in on something horrific happening, and he's like, oh god, oh you don't do, oh Dude, that is gross! Oh, like, maybe that's just me. Maybe everyone else sees a cool action guy. I don't know. But anyway, on with the show. Weapon crafting. This is the main deal with this game. You create your own weapons from a variety of parts that you acquire through science points. So I've made a gun called the Pandemonium earlier, which I'm quite happy with, but I'm going to make a new gun just to show you what's up. So I'm going to call it what's up. You see my bottom right, I have got 2,000, I'm going to call them science points. I don't know what technically they're called, but science points seems good. The first thing that you do is choose if you want your gun to be a rifle, which is, you, you know, you're on my da 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 your launcher, your rocket launcher, boom, your pulse is your blom. Blum, you know, you're slow firing energy ball, you know what I'm saying, and then you beam, which is your yeah. so there you go, I am voice actor gun firing man, as you all know. Once you've chosen your arch type, the basic way your weapon is going to fire, you choose your stock, your scope, your barrel, your trigger, your cooling, and the type of bonus stuff you want. So like, for example, I could make an electric beam by putting Tesla ammo instead of the usual slug, but I can't actually do any of this because I haven't got it unlocked, because you start with 2,000 science points and you earn them by playing with a certain weapon and loadout, and you can slowly progress down the rankings of stuff you can unlock. All of this has a, like, a really good effect on how the gun functions, and, you know, it does add a really nice progression path. I do have the, like, fear that people who are really down here, like, have got all the good stuff, their guns are just going to be straight up better than new players, but I imagine there'll be some sort of division thing. Well, I do know for a fact that the higher level you up, Higher the level you up, I am good at English, ha ha ha. The higher level you are, the higher level people that you play with. So it's not really a big issue. So yeah, you progress down here from your science points that you get by playing. So once you've made a weapon that you like the look of, look of, you simply hit the test button and that puts you in a really nice little area. This is a really cool feature that more games should have that have customization like this. A instant in the game testing feature that lets you see what's up with the weapon that you just made. So remember I chose the beam, which means I now have a straight up beam on this weapon, which is fantastic. It's Oh god, Steam! Steam! I'm so sorry! Basically, it's one of those games where some of the controls require doing Shift-Tab, which means your Steam menu opens regularly. So, hey, technically peace is in this video, everyone! Awesome. So shift, you can sprint around, you know, BST movement, you know, your left click to fire, right click to zoom in, your normal shooter controls, and you can control to do your dodgy stuff, and then you've also got your jump. So if you're sprinting, and you're jumping, I mean, look at the animations, they're really, really slick, well polished, everything looks like it should, the aesthetic style's really cool, nice cartoony, but it's also got that slight element of, like, action, hero type realism, and if we go look at the characters, you'll see the kind of charm, there you go, there you go, that's it, that, both of them on cue, perfectly, that's that is the charm that this game oozes. Now, another fantastic... <laughs> For example, I died earlier while playing, my guy got his legs blown off, was on the floor, he was dead. A few seconds after he's dead, he raised his hand and gave the guy who killed me the finger. I mean, that's just fantastic. 
So, the laser, if I fire it at his chest, let me show you something really cool. Look, so technically I must have hit his leg there, because now you can see his bone and the blood dripping off it and everything. So I'm going to kill him, his head explodes. Now, if I specifically try and aim at the chest, there we go. Look, I have just basically bored a hole through this poor person, and they're still fine with this laser. How cool is that if I specifically aim at their head here? Look, now we can see their brain. They're still alive. This could happen to you in-game. You could be running around like this, and they're just fine. This is why this game is hilarious hilarious fun to play, especially with a group of friends, because of this random crap that can happen. So this testing area and weapon customization is the core of the game, it really is, and it's a really, really unique idea. So if I exit the test, like if, for example, if I quickly show you like the rocket launcher, just switch the rocket launcher, and now I can test how the rocket launcher functions, like boom, there we go, not a lot of splash damage, but if you make a direct hit, there's a lot of damage. This is a good like sort of mid-range weapon, the laser is a mid-range weapon, but you can also change it into a sniper, like for example, if I was to get the beam, and go on here, no wait, the barrel, no, is it the barrel, yes, if I went to the barrel and then change it to a sniper, I could go from a medium range laser to a really, really long range sniper laser, which is kind of slower but does a lot of damage and more accurate, and that's the kind of customization you can do. I don't want to go too much into this, because basically all you need to take away from this is, you can make really crazy cool combinations of guns, like if I go on the launcher, I can change it to like detonator ammo or extra explosive or extra impact, all these kind of cool things, and I'll let you guys have a play around of this when you jump into the game. Then you go onto your loadout and you choose, yeah, I'm gonna save that, why the hell not? In your loadout, you choose what you want when you go in game. So if I've just basically only got the pandemonium, I don't have an alt gun. You also have these grenades, which you unlock through the tech tree, which I'm about to show you, like some really cool stuff, like a turret and, you know, everyone likes stuff, and a, a portable spawn point, that's really cool. And then you can also choose your base character, which uh, the three that you start with are Axel, T-Bone, and Helga, and I like Axel the best, so there you go, you get new slots as you level up, as indeed you unlock a lot of things as you level up. So this game really does reward time more than money spent. However, if you go on the Outfitter, you can purchase from coins, and you get coins by purchasing with real money, as you can see there. And from these coins, what you can do is, if I click on Al Axel, customize him, like there's lots and lots of different things that I can put him in. So once you get these coins, you can really have a unique looking guy. I don't know if you can earn these the paid coins in game, but I do know the only thing that you can buy is aesthetics based stuff. So as I said, I really don't think it is pay to win at the moment. But I mean, I could be running around like that. Why the hell not? I'm a badass. Oh, oh wait, no, let's get this. Oh, see the banana is really cool though, to be fair. <laughs> I love how this comes with like a permanent, permanent O face, this mask. That's absolutely fantastic. So, yeah, we can't, well, I don't have any coins, so I can't really buy them, but that's the customization. So, that's basically how everything works. This is just your locker, it shows you all your statistics, the things that you've done, that kind of thing. And then finally, we have the tech tree. This is what you unlock as you play through with certain weapons. So, if I go on the beam, and we can see I've got, like, no XP because I've hardly used it, and you progress down the tech tree until you unlock like the sniper barrel and then the headhunter bonus, you know, stuff like that. And it's a really extensive thing and you slowly progress using your science points. It's a really neat idea. So that is basically everything you need to know from the menus and the major hooks in this game. So let's get into game, have some fun and blow some people apart. I will see you guys when I'm in game. A quick insert actually that I'd like to mention here is, uh, firstly, another quick example of this game's kind of style and charm, the, hey bro, you can bully task, you know, which is just little things like that make me a dear to a game. You know, it's kind of like, ah, you, like, double finger point of the game, what you like, ah, oh, this game's my bro, I'm so lonely, and then basically, you can, while queuing for a match, as you can see, I've been in the match, oh, of course, as I start showing people, the match is ready, okay, fantastic, oh, no, that's, that wasn't actually, I was just sarcastic to the game, for no reason, so what you can do is, while you're queuing for match, is go on all these various screens, you don't actually have to stop crafting or anything, I mean, you can indeed still go into, like, if I make rocket, bro, that was supposed to be rocket, but we're making a repucket gun now, so if I go to launcher, and I'm just going to save that, save, yes, good, yes, I want to go to loadout editor, now that I've made a quick rocket launcher, and attach my rook to my secondary, so I can do stuff like that while I'm in the queue, which is a really neat feature, a lot of games, once you're in a queue, you're just locked, it's boring, you've got to wait, you don't want to ult time, because that can crash it, and, you know, it's a really ni nice idea to be able to do all the customization stuff that this game is all about while queuing, alright, so now I really will see you in game, if the queue ever pops, I'm watching you so close because I can't do anything else really. I mean, I just have to sit here and wait because I'm making a video. Otherwise, I'd probably like go outside. I'm kidding, you guys. 
<laughs> See you in game. All right, guys, as promised, here I am in game. I would normally choose my loadout at this point, but because I literally have no other loadout to choose from apart from the one I start with, I didn't choose anything. It's funny how that works. So the game mode we are on currently is called Blitz, which is basically you have to control points, you know, your, your domination mode that you know from other games. There's a quite a variety of game modes in the game. You've got your free-for-all, you've got your deathmatch, you've got this one where you have to pick up minerals off the ground and deposit them in, like, shoots, which is kind of a fun mode. You've got your various variety that you would be expecting. I need to make... Okay, I've got my rocket launcher, and then I've got my laser, so if I can just laser this guy... I'm not the best at this game. I've only... I've not got enough time in the combat, and the combat can actually get surprisingly in depth. As you can see, I just got absolutely blown away by John. <laughs> yeah, look, did you see? My guy died, and then his head goes up and fucking flips the guy off who killed me. I absolutely love that so much. It's just such cool little flavor things that happened. But yes, the fighting in this game can get really in-depth, so I may have to prepare you for some frustratingly bad FPS play. I mean, I'm only okay at FPS, stuff like Blacklight Retribution I got pretty good at. I've never been into, like, the major ones, but still, we will see. Alright, anything going on up there? No, no damage marker from that. Alright, the rocket launcher, really powerful, but really slow reload, but it's cool. And as you can see, the maps look really cool. Every map you can have on night or day, of all across the various modes, and it's all really tight. I, how many times do I need to call something cool? I know how to commentate successful, Riri. Hey, dope. Hey, dope. Yo, what's up, dope? How oh, dope was that? Where are you? Boom! Another kill. Another kill. Boom! Oh god, oh god, oh god. Come on, come on. Switch, switch. Laser. No, he got me! Damn it, I was doing really well there. I'd killed two guys, nearly killed the rest. Oh, that's that's annoying. That's annoying. Okay, okay, alright. So, F.C. Malie, by the way, just so you know, because who Malie's in a shooting game, really? Oh, he's already dead. But I just wanted to make sure. Oh, look, it's Dopey Friend. I love Dopey Friend, and then LASER! So, you know, the key to this game is having two complementary weapons as your loadout that you can keep switching between, and, you know, really tweaking them to your preferences. Alright, come on, what you, what you want? What you want, Mr. Man? What? Oh, okay, apparently they want nothing! No, I'm gonna get them. I'm gonna get them. Where you at? Where you at? You can get really parkour and stuff, which I really like. Like, if you can get to it, you can pretty much stand on it. Go, go, go! Oh, roll out the way! Roll out the way! Switch! Come on, just hit him. No, oh, come on, that was so close. And then I'm walking for a while. I'm at the, oh, I love it. I love it. It's so much fun. It really is fantastic fun. All right, come on. I don't even care about the objectives. I just want the combat because the gunplay in this game feels so good. Normally, I really dislike like third-person gun gun games, but this really does feel smooth. Especially, I love the animations and the jumping and everything. All right. The good thing about the laser is you can use it as a rather effective long range weapon as you saw there although i'm kind of stuck behind boxes and i've lost a little oh god oh god i've lost a leg and an arm Ugh! die if i'm going to die i'm taking you with me you mother oh he didn't die but at least i technically committed suicide which means that i didn't give him a kill which makes me satisfied gives me satisfaction oh, i absolutely love the laser and it makes such a good sound i do like me some good wah 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 no switch i don't have time get 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 Ah, uh, no, see, that was a bad move by me, because technically speaking, the laser is much more effective at the mid-range. It doesn't do enough DPS to compete with stuff like, oh, did I get him? I got him! Nice! He's just hopping there on his one leg. Ah, oh, the charm in this game. I don't like calling it charm because it's just gore, but it still is charming. It is. It's like, oh, game, you cool. I would like my blood to be covering the snow, but, that, but that'd be kind of a cool mechanic, actually. Imagine if you were bleeding on a snowy map like this, and your blood left a trail that people could use to follow you and chase you down. That would be quite interesting, actually. Okay. Oh, God, we are really losing. Jesus, the red is really quite far. But it's okay. I'm going to kill them all. I'm going to defend the point. This is one of the points that you have to defend. If I get over here and claim it, kill him. Kill I'm going to switch. Go. Oh, did I get him? No, no, no. Die, die, die. Oh, I had way too much health because I, I fucked up with the rocket launcher, hit myself, and then basically awkwardly killed myself, but it's fine. Awkwardly killing myself is what I do best. All right, let's see if I can laser any- Wow, that was- I accidentally pressed control there, and it dodged that rocket accidentally. That's fantastic. All right, I'm coming for you. Coming for you, you piece of shit. Where are you? I will take your spine, rip it out of your body, and shove it where the sun don't shine. Oh, that would have been awesome if I'd hit him there. Oh, I'm gonna get you. You're not running from me. You are not running from me. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, oh, I've got a ball spiked in my head. I don't know what I'm doing. 
I'm so bad at shooters. Oh, why am I alive? I should not be alive. I'm in so Oh, there we go. <laughs> Normally I get really pissed off when I keep dying of shooters, but A, I'm new, so I mean, this is a game full of really new people to the game, and B, it's just so much fun, and just, ah, oh, this is awesome, I don't even care, I really am enjoying myself, I really do heartily recommend this game. My only problem with this game is that cosmetics really do cost a hell of a lot. And to be fair, I don't actually know if you can get the currency which the cosmetics are bought with in-game. If you can, then I have no, really no complaints about this game. If you can, then this, it is really steep. Like, everyone is going to be this clone, clone guy that I am. And that's not that fun, really, if you physically don't have the diversity of people running around just because people aren't paying money. But I have a feeling there will be cosmetics you can unlock for free because that would just make the most sense. It really, really would. Okay. Alright, guys. Taste my rockets! And then the follow-up laser! Hey, I got a kill. That was really... That was not bad, actually. That was a good little assault on that point. Hey, you! I'm gonna kill you in the face! Oh, yeah! I killed him in the face. Oh, dope! Dope! You ready for this? This is gonna be a dope kill! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. He had a health on. He had a health on. Oh, no, no. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, wrong way. Wrong. Ring of roses. Ring the roses. Ring the roses. We got this. We got this. They got nothing on me. I'm, I'm roses, man. I got... <laughs> Seriously, guys. This game... Oh, I don't even care that I've kind of just lost all information in this part of the video. I just, I really, it is too good. Oh, we're actually kind of winning. Nice. I'm happy. I'm, I'm a happy, I'm a happy person right now. Die, dope. You will face my fury. I will kill you, dope. I will kill you. As long as I, as long as dope dies, I am happy. I don't know what I've got against dope. How am I doing? Hey, I'm eight to nine. I'm so, well, you know, at least I got kills. I'm just dying for every single kill that I get, but it's okay because I am the best. D I hope friendly fire isn't on because that really looked like I just killed my teammate, which would have been awkward. All right, we've got to defend this point over here, capturing the other ones. All right, guys, what's up? Okay, I kind of missed him a lot, really. I'm gonna go over here and see if I can't snipe some pee. Oh, dope. Oh, dope. Oh, ho, oh, dope. What's up, my friends? What's up? You don't see- Oh god, he's got the spike ball gun. I hate the spike ball gun, it does so much damage. Boom! Alright, oh god, that took a lot of damage there. Boom! Oh, I didn't switch weapons in time! Damn, and I got melee. I wonder how much damage melee actually does. I, 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 wanna, I wanna have a go now. The ring a ring around the rosy. I wanna do that again. That's not something I should say. I wanna do ring around the rosy again! Hey, dope! Did I get him? Did I get dope? Tell me Dope's dead. I require Dope to be dead. He's not dead, is he? He's never dead. Dope's never dead. Dope's a lie. Dope never even existed. Hey. Did I just... I just shot his missile out of midair. Guys, can confirm. You can shoot missiles out of midair. I love discovering stuff like that as you continue playing. Hey, we did we do it? I think we did it. Oh, God. Oh, God. All right, let's fucking fight. I will... Oh, God, I will lose. I wanted assisted suicide. Y yay, I feel proud. I helped in the suicide. I have no idea what I'm talking about. All right, let's go up here. Ally, what are you doing, man? We need to do things. We need to be the best like no one ever was. Where is my enemies? I should probably help towards the objective at some point, but you know. All right, switch to my good old trusty rocket launcher. Switch to my good old trusty laser launcher. It's fine. Oh, God. Boom! Yes, bitch. Take it. Take it and love it. Alright, he's a little bit over there. If I can jump to that platform. Roll through the room. Hey, dope. How you doing, dope? Don't mind me. Don't mind me. I'm just action man. Don't mind me at all. Boom! Yeah, as long as I committed suicide, I don't give a shit. You think I give it? Oh, it counts as a it still takes away from my death. Okay. Well then, that's fine. Okay, I don't really mind. I should probably point out this is my second game of loadout in, like, a year. So really, I'm technically doing well. And the real winner, I think we can all agree in shooters, ladies and gentlemen, is the real winner is whoever is having the most fun. And clearly, I'm having the most fun. So honestly, I am the winner of this game, even more so than my teammates who are winning this game for me. Oh, uh, did I actually get anything there? get into this room. Oh, no, Mr. Jump, Mr. Jump. All right, he's already dead. Good. See, I knew that was. I just wanted to make sure that his corpse wasn't going to come back as a zombie, so I had to blow it up. It was a deliberate choice that I made. 
Yes, capturing this point. We're going to capture it good. Yeah, we did it, guys. We captured that point. All right, next point is coming up. Basically, you take it's like a stage thing. You capture one point. Once you've fully captured it, you claim that point, and then the next point activates, and it's like a, a tug of war type of fur. Type of fur? Type of fur. Oh, God. Hello. Boom. Oh, I didn't switch my weapon in time. I should start using melee more. I really should. And I, how do you... How do you... How do you... I don't... What am I saying? Okay. All right. Okay. But it's, the thing about the melee is it's the one thing that you can't really do while being all agile. So it kind of goes against what the game is doing at the moment. Hey, dope. Hey. All right, dope. No. Oh, dope. I'm going to melee him. Ugh. Yeah, I'm melee him. That's... Oh. There's a massive hole in my chest. Holy intestines, Batman. But we're fine. We're fine. We're gonna get this because we're the best. Like no one. Oh, Savenya! Wow, we survived. I'm actually. I really thought I was gonna ask Savenya there. I. Did I just. Was that kill? We won! I did it, guys! I held my team! I did it! Oh, I'm least valuable player. Oh. <laughs> I'm legit. Oh no, I'm not the least valuable player. I've got the second worst ratio. Yeah, and the but the worst capture time though. I was just fighting really, and I, uh, it's just fun. Ooh, daily prize. All right, here we go. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, let's go for the middle. Yeah, that is what you do. That's a really cool little system as well. And I leveled up because I am just generally a badass. Okay, so. I, any experience gets you your blutes, get your performance. Oh, that's that's cool. That is really cool. Having your performance tied into how much you gain, incentiv incentivizing people actually going for it. All right, so what I'm going to do now is you've seen how the game plays. There's very different modes, but that is how the combat generally function. It's all really good. So what I could do is now that I've unlocked more stuff is I could go into the customization of this and turn my laser into more of a sniper rifle if I was to buy that. Save, there we go. Okay, I've just spent some blutes. They're called blutes, by the way, not science points. Turns out it's blutes, but it's not my fault. I assume things. And now I've got a laser barrel, which I would show you the testing of, but the um the the, the servers are a little bit a little bit broken at the moment, but it's fine. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is loadout. It's hilarious, good fun, it's free to play, it's just come out. I heartily recommend it. There are not many problems with this game, and all of them out of actual gameplay. It's really, really good, just gory, clean. I say clean, you know what I mean. Charming fun. Get a group of your friends, kill each other in loadout, have a good time. Please remember to like if you enjoyed this video. I will see you all next time. A good boy.